2024. It is Saturday, not Tuesday. Tuesday. I'm Neve. And I'm Caitlin. And we're the support act. And fresh off the stage, we've got Craig Redhart coming in. He's not paying attention. Come on, Craig. Sticker. Yeah, I right, sticker. Put it on. There you go. Gorgeous. Yes. Gorgeous. Would you look at that? One on each boob. Yeah. Go on, Do so you not want one? Oh, I'll have one as well. Go on. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Good catch. Lovely. Let's go. So, fresh off the stage, how do you think it went? Have you had fun? Lots of fun, yeah. Well, I think it went really well. Sounded good. We've got a really good slot, you know what I mean? Well, I thought we were playing at four o'clock until about two weeks ago, and four o'clock was great. I mean, we opened that stage last year. Yeah, yeah I remember. Uh, yeah. That was the first time we'd seen you. Yeah. yeah. So you said four. Oh, great! Four o'clock's class. And then there's guy a couple weeks ago. You got a five to seven. Oh god, it's brilliant. Yeah. Tough with it. Good. Come back last year. Any better? Any worse? Just about Much the same. Much better. Well, it's, it's just grown, hasn't it? I mean, they've got the extra stage. Was this the youth stage? This was the youth stage, wasn't it? Yeah. It was today. Yeah. Yeah. Which is great. Um, Rave cave. That's going to be fun later on. Yeah. So it's obviously it's grown and there's more people here than last year by the looks of it. So yeah, definitely. It's, it's getting bigger, huge, isn't bigger it? Bigger and better. Good. And as we talked about comparisons, we obviously saw you at Coastal Crawl as well. That was brilliant. What would you say the comparison is? Do you prefer being outside? Do you like being indoors? I don't know if I've got a preference really. Gig's a gig. The sunshine, man. It's got to be all the sunshine, isn't it? You've got to be in the sun. Uh, yeah, yeah. I mean, so I think every, when it's like this, weather yeah. and it's outside everyone's buzzing because it's sunny and it's good but i like the coastal ball was great i think indoors yeah. obviously it's a bit more toppy and crammed in which is a, a cool vibe i think whereas this is a bit more like you know what i mean but i think what i like about this is although there is still clashes we're going to run about a lot quicker yeah. Yeah. whereas a coastal crawl i was like oh my god yeah, i'm gonna it's like Down someone get me in a car yeah. now yeah i know you flying all over tape, <laughs> yeah. i know what you mean where is it? Yeah, my legs are running. Is there anybody else you've seen today? Anyone you're looking forward to? Yes, uh, came, we, we came at two o'clock and caught Neil McBride. Yeah. On Sunday for Sammy. Uh, we spent most of it on the main stage, really. I wanted to see the strays, but the one we were practicing the day until like uh, one o'clock. And I think the strays opened the main yeah, stage. Yeah, we saw didn't them. They, they were really yeah, good. I love good. the strays. One of the song, one of our songs is all about as well. Not about the strays, but they had a venue in North Shields called Studio 12A. And Dead Souls is about that venue. Yeah. I always dedicate that to Strays Boys. Um, yeah, I'm going to be here all day tomorrow as well as so loads I want to see oh, tomorrow. Nice. I've got my plan on the app. Ah, the app. Yeah. Brand new. We've got yeah. the app. What the a cracking app. addition the app it's is. Unreal. I know. Unreal. I like it. I like that I can go on and it says playing now or started. Yes. And I'm like, like alive. I like it. You can see that you can click on the bands like bios. Yes, they have. Yeah. Speaking, obviously, that's a brilliant addition of this year. Is there anything you want to improve? Anything you think? We could I'm get not better the for next year. Suggest improvements for a festival. <laughs> I haven't got a clue. What would you improve anything, Jack? Give us a bit of goss. Come uh, on. Just get another stage, more bands. Do you know what I mean? Make it bigger. Yeah. You know, that's a bit, that's a, yeah. Other than that, it's perfect. You know. Yeah. Like, nice. No, it's, it's, it's really well run. Everyone seems to be enjoying it. I think it's done a class job. I see here, all those lots more people involved. Yeah. Um, but no, I think I think this will get bigger and bigger every year. Yeah. I'm out. quite excited that we've been from the start yeah, and we're just on this I journey. I know well. it's nice that we'll have been from day one, won't it? Yeah. See how it gradually gets bigger. We're yeah. the OGs. Yeah. We are. I'll start right here. Of course, right <laughs> And Coastal Crawl, which I enjoyed as well. Yeah, for sure. So, uh, speaking of your music, what do you think is the one song that is going to get all these people out here being a Craig Redback fan? Funny how, probably. Definitely funny how. I think. Whenever we play it, everyone that knows it or even doesn't know it by the end of the chorus is singing the words. It's one of those ones that gets everyone together and, like, yeah. It's just started happening recently, recently, but it's such a buzz. Like, Coastal Crawl, funny enough, was the first one where I thought, Jesus, because we played that tune and I didn't have to sing the first verse pretty much. The group did, you know what I mean? I think, God. So I, that's then popular. You bring the light and goes down, but I think. I mean, those are the two songs you showed me before I joined the band. When I first met you, you were like, this is what I'm working yeah, on. Yeah, And I was like, oh, yeah, yeah. And I was like, both of them are solid tunes. And then yeah. playing them live, 
those are the, the two songs really that uh, yeah. get the biggest crowd reaction and interaction the one that as gets well. Out a lot. Definitely, definitely. But I think as well, like the more we've been gigging, the ones that are kind of like less kind of hits, they're kind of catching on now as well, which is nice. Yeah. yeah. I mean, think when you bring the light in, we've not released it. It isn't anywhere. No one can hear it yet. Something's happened when we're playing it live. Yeah, everyone knows the words. And the yeah, I, yeah. Just, I don't know why, but people are like tune into it and they just seem to know it. So we're gonna. It's good. Exclusive. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> Exclusive. It's probably gonna be the next. one. it will be the next single. The nice. EP came out a couple of weeks ago. Um, it's not on there. And for I'll, I'll put it because I want to leave it off because I want to put that out before then. Yeah. Leave, which I think it's just going to be really well received. It also just shows who comes to our gigs as well. If I know the words to that, you're like. You know, you know what's up. Are you scouting people know? out? Fake fan, fake yeah, fan. Yeah. You're all right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's you bring the light in, actually. <laughs> yeah. Not you bring the smile in. You're not coming to gigs anymore. You fake fan. No. We're very lucky though, having not released it, people still singing it back to us. It's a, it's a great feeling, and it we can't top it. Cannot top it. We've spoken a couple a little bit about the EP singles here. Where are you taking inspiration from, like? Um, all, all the songs, I think, are they're very introspective. So they're all like about stuff that's happened to me. Like funny how's about me dad. You bring the light about Alice. Like they're, they're all written about personal experience. So I think just what's happening around us and to us really is what makes us want to write stuff. And I think that's where the best tunes come from, in my opinion. Because they're honest, aren't they? Do you know what I mean? And I think that's why people can resonate with them because the you bring the light is just a love song. That's all it is. And, and when you're making this process, do the lyrics usually come first or do you hear it? I am a bit of a geek on me phone. I've got like an Excel list about this big of like just little things I've heard, like little quips or little yeah. song title potentials. I've just got a bank of them. And when I'm in the mood to write, I'll just dip into that and like have a look. Think, oh, wait, I, want I mean, you're, you're crazy for it. We'll be hanging out and I'll say something or show you something and then you're straight away just writing paragraphs and things <laughs> on your phone. And half of it we never go back to, but you're always just there typing away, aren't you? Yeah. And just like, yeah. yeah. Just this big beefy XL and it's just full of like, <laughs> love song. That's oh, cool, wow. Yeah. I know what it is. And it's mad to know how people have ears and yeah. brains for that, because well, I don't. Do you do it differently? Like, I, 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 I'm not, I don't think I'm naturally gifted at it at all. I think I've had to work quite hard to get people to write decent tunes. Um, but I think why they're doing quite well and people seem to be enjoying them is because they're just very pure, they're very authentic. Yeah, I think the lyrics are good and they're about real stuff. And I can, I can tell you a story about every song and I think that's important. Yeah. It's not just a song for a single being a song, do you know what I mean? The tunes are about stuff, proper yeah. stuff. And I think people understand that and they like they resonate with it. It's always fun for us, the rest of the band as well, because you'll come in with a song like this is this, and then we're like, oh wow, because really, yeah. we're, we're never favorite parts of the process is that, yeah, yeah. The rehearsal for the first time, yeah, because we're never there for the inception of the idea, but you kind of get the bare bones with the lyrics and the structure, bring it in, and we all kind of yeah. sit down and like bring it to life, you know what I mean? And like, what Jack's great as he's a very good producer, Jack, so like Dead Souls, for example, what the second last tune today, I sent him a very stripped down acoustic version of that, and within a couple of days, he sent this back this mega, like heavily produced, big. Put drums out, and like it sounded massive. Like Jesus, that's how the song needs to sound. Then, so we're having lads like Jack in the band and, and, and Josh do the same way. They can just really like have a listen to it and start putting their own stuff on it, and then it comes to life in the rehearsal. That's as about as fun as playing live for me. Seeing it like seeing it grow from its birth. You know I think also I mean? as well, you, you kind of get the excitement of like we're going to get to play this live now. You kind of start fantasizing about how it's going to be when you're on stage, and yeah. that's kind of what makes music so fun, yeah. isn't so it? You know? How do you build a set list then? And do you think about where you are, is it? I like it to be like a roller coaster. I, even with a half an hour set there, you've got long, but I still want like I want you to bring the light in there and show everyone out a little bit. Do you know what I mean? Fracture's quite a, 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 a sort of bouncy little pop tune. I like that. In there. I like fracture. We yeah. play on the radio. Yeah, don't we, we do. Yeah, I mean. Yeah. We, we get bored anyway, don't we? We have to keep changing, otherwise we'd get sick of doing the same yeah, thing would. the whole day. Yeah, yeah. Just, just my personal preference, I don't want to just do a set full of big banded tunes. Some do, and some are fucking great at it. It's cool. Horses for courses in it, but for me, I like the set, even a short one to be a bit like that. I, you know what I mean? I, I want to show off what we can do. Not, do you know what I mean? We're not one dimensional, I don't think there's a bad work with we could do different stuff and I, I, I like to make sure that comes across in the set. And I suppose as well when you're in a setting like this where lo a different type of audience, loads of different people, people I've never heard of yet, if you have surely different sides, something for everyone. And Definitely, and I think that's what's like different. I mean, your headline shows, you probably know 90% of the room, do you know what I mean? 
and they know you. This is different, in it? Like, you, you know, there's loads of people you've never met before, so you're absolutely right. You want to give everyone a chance to hear everything that you came yeah. to doing within half an hour. Give a yeah. showcase. Yeah, yeah, definitely, definitely. And hopefully it makes them want to listen more. Yeah. It's also just what you love as well, you know? As much as, like, we want everyone else to enjoy it, it's just the music that we want to make and you want to make. And some people might like some songs and other ones. People might like it all, but it keeps yeah. it fresh for us going up and down and changing definitely. around. So we've spoke about what probably is going to be your next single. What else have we got to look forward to? So we've got a, our next headline show is on the 24th of August um, at the Clooney 2. Whoop, whoop. It was meant to be kind of what the date was a good few weeks ago, but we'll put oh. it again far too quickly. It's, was that Paddy support as yes. well? Yes. Paddy I know support. Paddy. Yes, Paddy. Paddy's great. Paddy's doing a little side project solo thing now. I hear she's got a tune out now, you know. Yes. Yeah. It's so cool. We need to Paddy's get great. in touch with Paddy yeah, for the yeah, radio. Have to touch Paddy. Paddy's a lovely lad, so he's going to do the, he's going to open with short the Clooney. I think it'll be his first solo thing. Oh, I think. So, we yeah. love Paddy. Oh, yeah. We're good that. friends with him. He's, he's class. Yeah. Lovely, lovely kid. We're playing with Daisy's down in Sheffield for tram lights um, last year. And that's where I first sort of met Paddy out the air. Bit like a brother from another, brother Paddy like that. So that's what Alice says, you're very, very similar to me, Paddy. <laughs> He's a top lad, top lad. So that's to come, single to come, all exciting stuff? It is. Hopefully, hopefully before the years, I'm going to do a little tour as well. Oh! A little nationwide tour, not, not very far, just probably like to Manchester, Leeds, <laughs> headline up here, Glasgow maybe. Yeah. Um, so that's a plan. Maybe it's, maybe it's Maybe it's after the headline gig, so sort of going into September, October time, something like that. Yeah. that that's the idea. Yeah. We'll see. Well, sounds like a plan. It does sound Thank like you plan. very much for sitting down with us. It's been lovely to chat again. It yes. always is. It always I know, it's so nice is. to see nice. you. Yeah. Good. Come to the headline show and set this up. I was trying, yeah. I was trying to look at me calendar well, while we were talking. Oh, yeah. You should get a gig somewhere, you was like, guaranteed. You should be <laughs> a gig on my headline show. You should have kids every week on this, isn't it? <laughs> More than once a week. 24th no. of August. 24th? 24th of August. I'm free and Newcastle's playing away, so I'm definitely free. Finally got yours. Oh, it's after Cayman. Clearly get Oh, I am free. It is. Right, right, we're there. We're going. Get in. We're going, everyone. <laughs> Perfect. 24th of August, get your tickets on the Instagram. <laughs> Woo-hoo. Thanks, guys.